I never knew that the art of painting would demand so much out of me. I decided to give whatever it demands without much bothering about my needs. And I realized that my needs were like a peanuts in front of the coconut tree, the strong, healthy and tall passion of beauty. Uh, I was a bad student, but, uh, uh, you know, I got through uh, primary and secondary and then I joined JJ School of Art. There, I think, I, I, I felt that I, I was in the right field and the uh, whole day uh, spending in JJ was a, a thrill, you know. Uh, so many students, some, some were bright, some were just searching, baffled, you know. I was one of them, so oh, I feel that if I want to develop, I must make good friends, and I could do that. And of course, I had my friends in the senior uh, classes, you know, and because of them, I, I could understand uh, why one should practice art in the school, you know. I'm delighted that Nine Fish Art Gallery and Dockline Space are having this show of a very reclusive artist, Professor Prabhakar Kolte. Because he is an artist with a very different point of view and a very different way in which he paints his uh, works. He has, of course, abstraction. He's an abstract artist and abstraction had started earlier especially with Kai Tomde doing it and then Sadhvilkar following it and there were many other people like Prafulla also who tried it. But Mr. Kolte has given a totally different direction and his color schemes and the structure of his painting are quite different and really quite um, fantastic because when you see them, you feel that there is a new spirit in it. You feel that there is a new way in which he is looking at things and he has inspired a new generation of youngsters who are doing abstract art, but who are doing it in a very different way than what has been done before. When I step in this gallery, I saw one wall which looks just like a painting. It reminds me of my painting. And I told Anurag that you should not display anything on this wall because itself is a painting. I'm going to sign on this wall and call it my painting. So it is like discovering a painting is also a painting. Of course, we are completely thrilled to bits to have Mr. Kolte show here. It's a, it's a gallery he loves, so he's very excited being here. Uh, Initially, there was a lot of convincing, but uh, once he began to experience the space for himself, he just wanted to be here. And I think that's a great honor for us. Uh, the gallery is inside a textile mill, and I think uh, his uh, childhood associations with textile mills is, in a sense, uh, bringing him back here. It's completing a long trajectory of his life. And, uh, you know, to, to have a show finally in a gallery, in a textile mill, a mill a means a lot to him emotionally. Uh, he's having a solo after a, more than a decade and is really excited about it. So are we. And I think it is an exciting moment for the entire art world. Probably will be one of the biggest solos that the city will have this year. I realize that painting is just a painting. It is not a replica. It is not an illustration of any idea. It is just an expression. And I do that. And that is why I always believe uh, that painting is just a painting. And there is no meaning for painting, you know. But one can experience it, you know. That experience doesn't require any title. 
and uh, unfortunately our society doesn't understand that it will take time for them to understand what is actually painting is